to the basketball here. It was the worst loss in SMU history. They lost. Rams that include Gonzaga, Duke, Kansas, Good. Michigan State, North Carolina. Good company. Justin Jennifer with the three. And, and SMU in a 2-3 zone. Corner three, more, and he hits it. Jimmy Witt hits a turnaround jumper. And SMU with a two-point lead that's erased right away by a drive from the sophomore Keith Williams. You go down the list here in the AAC. This is a very undervalued conference across the country as Broom knocks down the three for the Bearcats. The corner, Williams missed the three. Brooks, offensive rebound, and a stick back. 13-0 early against UCF. They couldn't get anything going after that. They have no answer right now for Brooks on the offensive glass. And terrific work. Stay with it by Trayvon Scott. SMU by nine right now. Great body work by Scott. Cleared it out. Little lob. Cumberland finishes. That was from Broom. And Cincinnati's biggest lead. 12 offensive rebounds now for Cincinnati. That is immense. Scott kicks back. Jennifer a three. Got it. What a sequence for Cincinnati. Lights Williams gets inside. Kick out Brooks. And the tip is up and good. I'm not sure why your man on the glass in his own. It's definitely hurt them tonight as you see has done a damage job on the boards. Keith, poor shooting. Scott. Brooks left open. Cincinnati shooting 23% from the field is odd as well. Williams driving, dumps it to Fredericks, who finishes, and the Bearcats jump back on top. Fredericks gets to the rim. Oh, just poor closeout by Jerron Hunt. And he added the timeout. With the ball and the lead. Cumberland Brooks. The Sear Brooks approaching a double double. Three of those teams are, could be tournament bound. Cumberland driving over Shagwa and it drops. And Cincinnati has used this long drop by SMUs in the backcourt for Cincinnati. Cumberland there as well with Brooks. Cumberland driving and that's the second time he's taken the lane and come up with two. And he does just that, gets it in, and Williams plays keep away. And the Bearcats survive.